Hello everybody <laughs> I just did like an intro and the camera fell over so anyways it doesn't even matter the thing is that um, months and months ago I bought these cabinets and they were the typical yellow color and I basically uh, changed them I sold one and we kept one when I upcycled that cabinet I basically wanted to paint the handles black I'm a black white loving person <laughs> so I wanted them black but I was gonna sell it so I wasn't sure if people would like that so I did not do it this time I'm thinking I'm gonna spray paint them black because it matches my living room and right now we have a picture of one of um, Troy's favorite movies and he wanted to keep that picture there because he feels that is his manly way to put in the living room but I feel our living room and dining room is not feminine at all even though that that's not my style I'm not that feminine in my interior design I think I'm more like industrial and like blacks and like that just like him so I really want a mirror and it went viral this mirror is like a square mirror and then it has different squares in it and blah 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 I will pop up a picture because I don't think I'm making any sense and I wanted one like that but then I started doing the math and honestly sometimes it's really cool to upcycle things or to make them yourself but other times it's like is it worth making it or just buying it so it's not gonna be like a big difference in the budget of it so I was like I don't think I'm gonna do that so I am looking for a mirror today that is like a square no more like a rectangle mirror like big size not that big but big and then maybe I can work around it and come up with other ideas but I definitely would like to have a mirror in my living room I wish I could have like a long mirror like a full size mirror but I don't have enough wall to put a mirror or nothing so I am gonna go and look at the shops and see what I can find I will take you with me I am ready to go I just I'm just gonna grab my bag and then we'll head out. So this is the mirror I found in a charity shop for only 10 pounds. The only thing is that this isn't really wood, it's more like contact paper. So I wanted to try if it was gonna work the way I want to paint it, so I did. And I think it does work, but I might have to do it two times. And I needed to find wood that is one centimeter thick for this mirror because it's not very thick. And it was hard, it was a struggle. And so I ended up finding this piece that I'm just gonna go with it. It's a bit bigger. And it's this one, this art too. So I ended up cutting two big pieces and then six small pieces to put in between like that. And I have another one 
I have another one that I also tried to paint it. I'm, I'm not gonna do a spray paint. I want the mirror to have a little bit more texture. So I'm gonna try the technique that is going around, that is so popular, of using baking soda and paint to give a little bit of texture to the mirror. So what I'm gonna do first is clean the mirror and do the first coat of paint and then I will paint these ones as well and um, yeah so let me do that plus I need to take this butterflies off I think I'm gonna use hair dryer to heat them up and get them removed places and because he got some scratches and I, I was expecting that to happen so I have some baking soda this time I think I'm gonna put more baking soda because I have I want it to feel more like to have more structure <laughs> there where I want to put the mirror and I want to change the color of the handles to black okay so now I have all these buddies and um, my apartment doesn't have a garden but it has really big windows and normally when I spray paint them I spray paint them like near to the window in a box so I'm gonna do that right now so I'm gonna use this um, acrylic spray paint it's a matte finish um, the mirror is very matte which is very cool because that's how I wanted it and <laughs> I'm gonna be using this one I got my things all tried with a black mat and I'm just gonna put them back and see how it looks maybe it's gonna look better maybe it's not I hope it does look better It makes the room um, look a bit bigger I am now gonna work on the area of the living room I work on it before and I wasn't that happy I still need like maybe it's done to a 50% and I still need to get it to that 100% where I'm like yeah I'm comfortable with this area now but I don't mind it I do love that area now I feel like it's so us uh, yeah I hope you guys liked 
the video I hope you get some inspiration if you make a mirror like this I was thinking like since I did the baking soda and the paint together if you mix like a really light brown I thought that may look really nice but I love black and white and a little bit of wood around it yeah that's it for today and see you again some other day have a good day